Um, another thing, guys, you're gonna want to do while you're here, where I'm at, um, is if you can imagine that pad off or whatever, is you're gonna want to get yourself a pair of uh, digital calipers, or you can get regular calipers too. Um, and you're gonna slide them in and measure the thickness of your rotor. Um, and you're gonna measure and check that it's not below the minimum thickness because if it is, uh, then they're considered not safe to drive or, um, they're considered, uh, what do you call it? Well, the rotor could actually break and you can't, you cannot tell by just looking at it. Um, the rotor's never gonna look not thick enough. So, um, this car is really new. Um, and there's not many miles on it, so um, I'm not too concerned about the thickness, but it's just good to always check and uh, Right now, I don't know the minimum thickness, but uh, I'll try and find it out and you should uh, See right now in the bottom of the video somewhere here uh, minimum thickness so and so millimeters and uh, if you're wondering where you can get one of these calipers uh, Sears Harbor Freight uh, those are good places to get them um, and Yeah, so once you get that done, we'll I'll go ahead and show you um, how I finish compressing your piston, and then we'll just slap it back together, and you're pretty much done from it. Um, done from here. So, all right, guys, and all there is to compressing this piston here is, well, I need to get a better camera angle, but basically, well, you can see in there. Um, you're gonna take one of your older pads, stick it behind there. Um, let's do metal to metal there, and then you'll get you a C clamp like this, a big old C clamp, and then uh, you're gonna fit it to where the bottom part of the C-clamp is up against the pad and then the top part right up there is going to be on the other side on the middle part and I'll show you what that looks like here in just one minute alright and that's what it's going to look like right there and uh, let's see I can't see my screen too well so I hope that's a good shot I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about right there the bottom one sitting on the old pad and then up there you got the top top of that C-clamp sitting on the middle of part of this uh, caliper so then you're just gonna come over here and you're gonna twist that until the old pad goes flush with the um, the piston it's gonna get flush with the caliper it's gonna pull the piston all the way back in so it'll be flat right there and then um, you'll be good to put your new pads back on and slip this caliper over the pads and tighten the bolt tighten the caliper bolts back all right I uh, just got done doing that. You can see now that the piston is flat uh, here with the other side of this caliper. So yeah, uh, once you get that, um, and the reason you got to do that is because the new pads are going to be thicker. So um, the space in between here and here is obviously going to be larger. So this is going to need to be moved back. And that's also why your brake fluid um, gets low because when this comes this way, uh, your brake fluid's going down. So if you put new brake fluid in just before you did this and then you compress both the pistons back you might actually have a uh, brake fluid overflowing up top uh, under your hood and now I'm finally at the point here putting this caliper back on here so I'm just gonna set it right there and then I'll uh, mount the bolts back in there and tighten them down and um, that's it guys it's pretty much all there is to it I'll show you what I get done here <laughs> 